hey guys welcome back to the channel we are in a new month and i know a lot of people are saying march 1st is their new month for me i feel like january was still my new month i may have not started hitting the round running immediately um because i went to travel and stuff like that but i feel like once i got settled i was good like i've been accomplishing a lot of goals so i may share that i've may sh i've shared with you guys some i haven't just personal goals but anyway, let's get into it. So this is the first time I'm doing one of these. I have recommended books here and there, but I have not done a book haul. Now, just to, to quickly bring some my hand, if you just dropped down this video, it's your first time. My channel name is Abigail Susan. I do hair, beauty, lifestyle. But I feel like you guys get a lot more beauty and lifestyle from me. But anyway, um, I do love reading books. It has been a minute. I feel like last year I started getting back to really reading books. And I feel like... I kind of kind of got to the thing where I was like you make time for what you want right so I feel like I came into this year with that like mindset you make time for what you want so that's why I decided this year I want to read as many books so the goal for this year I did write a goal I remember four books for the year right now I currently have five um, and the only reason why I put a minute number just because I was kind of just giving myself wiggle room because sometimes I'm going to be honest, sometimes it just kind of depends on how my day goes. It's how I read my books. Now, if I'm on breaks from work, then I feel like I'm more compelled to read a lot more. Sometimes in my commute I do, but sometimes I don't just because it's not like I, I take train and like you don't always get to see. It's just uncomfortable. I like to like be in comfort when I'm reading a book. Personally, that's just what I mean. But anyway, um, just to like facts about what type of books I like to read so I've always liked from like childhood I've always liked mystery specifically I feel like as I got older I liked more romance too so like I those are like the main genres that I like to read but I'll read other stuff um of course I'll read like Christian based books and stuff like that as well um but let's get into this so the first book actually I hit the ground running in January and I finished the whole book which shocker so the first book um, that I'm read that I finished reading in January was, was Zora Books Her Happily Her Happy Ever After. Now this book I would say very um, rom um, romance heavy. Obviously I'll just read the brother, but like she has to choose between two guys in the end she has to choose one, and it's definitely spicy romance I would say. Um, this was a really quick read, um, and I'll again. This was like how many pages? Like three, about 300 and something pages. But I pretty read, much read it. I finished it all in January, so it didn't take me as long. Um, I feel like definitely if I put more time to reading, like an hour, two hours, I'd probably finish the book like in two weeks, maybe three, depending on how fast I'm reading it. But this is a good book. And just to like give you guys the, the um, blurb in the back, it says. It's um, a heart-pounding, curvy romance about an indie bookstore owner who finds herself in a love triangle when she meets the author she's had a crush on for years and his best friend. Um, so, and of course, I love to support my black author, so this is by a black author. Um, and then the next book, I actually got this, oh, sorry. I accidentally dropped one. I actually got this in December. This was I got from a gift exchange because I asked for the book in my gift six, like the holiday gift exchange. So I did get it. Um, this is called Act Your Age, um, Eve Brown. This I'm currently reading. I'm almost done. So this is this is what I have left of the book. These pages. I don't want to actually look at something and be like, and then get the end of the story. But I'm on page two sixty two. I think I had my sister look at it because I didn't want to look to see what it was. It's 375, so I'm almost done. I want to actually see if I can finish reading it today so that I'm done with this book and then I can move on to a new book for the month of March, even though we're already in March by the time this drops. But I want to, I do want to finish this and be done with this book. Um, and then just for the blurb, it just says, um, Eve Brown is a certified hot mess. No matter how hard she strives to do right, her life always goes ter ter horribly wrong. Sorry. She so she's given up trying, but when her personal brand of chaos runs ruins a wedding, her parents draw the line. It's time for Eve to grow up and prove herself, even though she's not entirely sure how. And then 
Jacob Wayne is always in control. The uptight B&B owner accepts, expects nothing less than perfection from his employees. So when a purple-haired tornado of a woman applies for his open chef position, he tells the, br br the brutal truth, not a chance. Then she hits him with the, his her car, supposedly by accident. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but this is my current read. This is also by black author Talia Hibbert. This one is more, I feel like, really spicy, spicy. <laughs> like, I didn't expect, I didn't read, so I just read reviews, like, base level reviews, but I don't go in depth when I read reviews about books. But I didn't expect this to be, like, it's a little, little, just a little wild. It's not too crazy, but it is. Um, and I believe, like, yeah, somebody said, like, her writing is smart, funny, and sexy. It's a little, you know, up there. Um... The next one, I think I want to move on from my next book to a mystery book. Um, because, like I said, I like mystery. So this one I bought, I got a bunch of books in January from Barnes & Nobles. But um, these are the two actual, like, reading books. The other books that I got were journal books. But this is the next one I have. It's called The Starter Wife. Um, and this one, like I said, I like mystery. So this one says... Local police have announced that they're closing the investigation of the suspected drowning of a 37-year-old painter, Colleen Westcott. She disappeared in April 11, 2010, and her car was found parked near the waterfront in Cleveland two days later, but her body has never been found. The chief of police has stated that no concrete evidence of foul play has been discovered in the probe. So I'm excited to read this because I like to find out mysteries, to find out who's the killer, what happened. I like to know those stuff. So this is this one. So I'm debating if I want to read this one next, or I'm going to take the other one that I want. It's not this one, but this is also the other one I got a Barnes and Noble. It's called Monster in the Middle by Tiffany Unique, um, and this is by a black author. Um, it says when you. Meet your love. You are meeting all the people who, you, whoever loved them or who you were supposed to love, but them, but didn't love them enough, or didn't love them at all. So, well, this is just about. So this I feel like explores a lot because it says it's talking about, um, a couple's romance and how they like kind of dealing with different backgrounds, religions, classes, and stuff like that. So this should also be easy, I mean easy, <laughs> interesting to read. Um, and then the last one that I got, I actually just purchased this like last month. Um, and I kind of think I want to read this too. I, I kind of want to switch out of mystery for a second, or like romance, and kind of read this. Um, this book is called One in a Millennial, so for those who may not know, I am a millennial. I'm 95, um, and so I was like, this intrigued me because it's for, like, millennials. Um, it says, one friendship, feelings, fangirls fitting in. I did get this from Target, like I said. Um, it's by Kate Kennedy. So, right now, I'm interested to see if I want to read this first or read Starter Wife first. Um, so right now, I, I guess I upped it to, like, five. Sorry, before I say that. I was trying to see if there's anything, like, about the book, like, a little blurb. But this is more so people, like, giving, you know how people give a praise for something? So, I don't know. But just by looking at the contents of the book, so, just to give you guys a little, like, thing. And also to give me one, because I actually didn't open the book. I just saw one in Millie, Millennial, and I was like, mmm, looks interesting. I honestly didn't open the book. Um, so some of the things in, like, the table of contents is, like, um, American Girls Next Door. And I remember I actually grew up on American Girls. Um, it says Saved by the Bell. I actually watched Saved by the Bell, The Parent Trap. So I guess I would definitely relate to this because a lot of things that have actually... Um, bread and actually it goes through three different years so the 1990s which is like the time I was born the 2000s and then present day like today um, so that's pretty much the thing so I'm actually intrigued to read this because I grew up on some of this stuff you know what I mean um, so that's that so
So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to read next. But I'm, I think I'm going to move on to this. Because I feel like it'll be a nice like little relatable thing. Especially for me as a millennial. And then I'll kind of get into the gory like mystery stuff. But again I want to finish. But again I want to finish reading this first. Because I'm almost done this one. Act Your Age. Eve Brown. Um, and then so right now as you guys can see for the year I have five books so far. But I think once I hit the fourth book and I see that I'm actually going to finish reading it, then I might buy more books. I didn't want to go crazy with buying the books and then like I have just books sitting here in my sitting in my like in my space because that would happen in the past like I buy a book and it'll take me forever to read it. So, that's why I'm just sticking to five books like minimum right now. Getting through all these books, like I told you guys, I already got through one. I'm almost done with the second one, so really I would only have three more books. So I would say like by June, summertime, June, July, which I'll be off on break. So well, July I'll start break really from my job. I get two. I always get summers off. So I think then that's when I kind of will start like May, June, looking for more books. And then the summer, I have so much more time, so I feel like I can get through maybe two or three books. So maybe I might add three or four more books to my list for a total of eight books of the year. Um, but right now, that's all I'm currently reading. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you read any of these books, or if you're interested in any of these books. I'll leave everything in the description, as always. Um, and let me know if you guys want another book haul, or like what I'm reading in 2024, or the end of the year 2024, which we still got nine more months. But I'd be willing to do that too um, because I'm trying to branch out and start different things. And I do love reading. I've always said that, but I've never done like, oh, what am I reading? And I saw the people doing it. I'm like, oh, that's a cool video idea. I'm trying to try different things with the channel. So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.